People ask me all the time, should they be washing their fruits and vegetables? And if so, should they be buying the products that are available at the store specific for produce or is water enough? So in this video, I wanna talk about the best ways to wash your fruits and vegetables at home and show you the easiest and cheapest way that I have found to keep my fruits and vegetables clean. Hi, I'm Dr. Shauna and welcome back to another video. So as far as washing your fruits and vegetables, what you should and shouldn't be using just kind of depends on a couple things. Before we get into what's going to be the best way to wash your fruits and vegetables, I want to talk about why you need to do it and with what types of fruits and vegetables you need to be doing it for. So first of all, you want to wash every single fruit and vegetable that you're going to use and you're going to consume, eat, whether you're cooking with it or just eating it raw. Whether or not you're going to eat the skin or not, you're still going to want to wash it. So the reasons why is there are fruits and vegetables that can be contaminated throughout the process, from the harvest process to the shipping process to when it's in the store and people are touching and looking, you know, and they're trying to pick the produce, the fruits and vegetables that they want to use. Everybody's touching it. So they're going to be contaminated from people's touch. And then there's going to be some residues of pesticides on there, whether or not they're directly sprayed on the fruits and vegetables or not, or even on organic produce. They've actually found for them to have some pesticide residues because they can get some wind blowing, some spray off of neighboring fields that may be getting sprayed with pesticides. The other thing is that some of these fruits and vegetables, not the organic, like this organic apple, but more like this pepper, which is not organic, they will put an actual wax that they put on there. And the wax is gonna be put on there to make it look shinier, make it look prettier. So you wanna buy it at the store. I know it seems kind of funny, but you can see, if you look at the difference, this one, it, it glows, but not quite as shiny as this one. And so you wanna get that wax residue off. So how are you gonna do that? So really an, an easy way to get things rinsed off is just plain water, specifically filtered water, but water. And you can rinse it off and you're gonna rub while you're running it underneath the water. You can use a soft bristled brush and that's gonna help get any bacteria off and also some of these wax residue that may be on there. There, Some people also buy those produce washes that come from the stores. Now these produce washes, they aren't terribly expensive, but they cost between five and $10. And there are some, they have all organic natural ingredients and a lot of water. So basically you're paying this money for water with some added extra ingredients into it. And for me, it really isn't worth the cost. There actually was a study done by the University of Maine where they looked at the three most popular produce washes and compared the results and how well they cleaned compared to distilled water. And they found that the distilled water actually performed better than those washes. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and buy gallons and gallons of distilled water just to wash your fruits and vegetables. No, you can use filtered water. You don't have to buy bottles of filtered water. You can use like the filter pitchers and it's gonna filter out the extra chlorine. So you're not rinsing it in chlorine. You really don't wanna do that. You wanna keep it as clean of water as you can or you can use what we use, and we actually have an under the sink water filter. So I use that. And sometimes you could just rinse it off, especially if we're not eating the skin. So we're gonna peel it later, I rinse it off. You can use a, a nice soft bristled brush to scrub harder fruits and vegetables. Or if you have things that are a little bit more sensitive, which is gonna be things like grapes and definitely berries, like raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, you're gonna wanna put those in a soak. And the cheapest and easiest way that I have found to use it uses baking soda. Now there are other things that some people may put a little bleach in the water. I do not recommend that because even though you're rinsing it off after you soak it in this diluted bleach solution, you should not be ingesting bleach at all. And baking soda actually performed better than bleach in a study that they've done. The key to the baking soda is you add it to the water and you gotta let it soak for about 12 to 15 minutes. And why the baking soda works is it actually causes an alkaline pH. So it's instead of acidic, it's gonna be alkaline. So it has a higher pH number. And that is actually going to degrade and break up the most commonly used pesticides. So it'll get those pesticides off the surface of the fruit. So does it mean the baking soda and water is gonna remove 100% of the pesticides? No, it's not. 
but it's going to reduce it by at least 80% or even more and significantly decrease the toxic load on your body from consuming the fruits and vegetables from your pesticides. So the way that I do it and what I have found to be the easiest and cheapest way to use the baking soda wash, I'm gonna show you now. So you're gonna take a big bowl, you're gonna fill it up with your filtered water, you fill the bowl up, don't fill it all the way because you want to have some room so when you add your fruits and vegetables in there, it's the water's not going to spill out over the sides. And then you're going to add two tablespoons of baking soda. You'll then stir it around so you can get the baking soda to dissolve. So you'll see it's going to be a little cloudy at first. I keep stirring it and then it's going to dissolve completely and the water will be clear again. You then are going to add your fruit and, or vegetable inside of it and you're going to let it soak for 12 to 15 minutes. When the soak time is done, you're then going to dump all of this into a strainer or a colander so you're draining all of that off. You will then rinse off the fruits and vegetables, again, with your filtered water. So you're going to rinse it all the way off, make sure you're getting all the residue off, you kind of rub it with the softer skinned fruit and vegetables. You're going to want to use just your hands and be real gentle. With some of the harder skinned fruits and vegetables, you can definitely use a little bit of a brush. And then when you're done, you're going to want to make sure that you dry the produce off. So you can use a paper towel or a clean like tea towel, like dish towel to dry everything off, especially if you're going to store this in the refrigerator after you've washed it. All right. Once you've finished soaking all of your fruits and vegetables and then have thoroughly dried them, you're ready to use them. Now, I typically wash mine right before I'm going to use them, unless it's things like grapes, sometimes strawberries as well, where I want to have them already prepared so my kids can just go into the refrigerator, grab them and have a nice healthy snack that's already ready to eat. They don't like to wait 15 minutes for the fruit and vegetables to be clean. So the, what you want to make sure of those, I'm going to put these in a bag like this. This is a produce bag. It's a nylon mesh bag, so it's breathable and it's not going to allow any moisture to build up while it's sitting in the refrigerator. So once these are all clean and I've patted them dry with a paper towels, I'm going to put them inside this bag. I just dump them in the bag and the bag's got a nice drawstring. I pull the drawstring tight and then I can store them in the refrigerator and they're going to get air and they're not going to gain any moisture so they don't spoil sooner than they would you know, otherwise. So I really hope this video has been helpful for you. It has given you tips and you're going to be able to go and use this baking soda and filtered water wash for your own fruits and vegetables today. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them below in the comment section. Make sure you hit like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, remember, healing starts from within.